when you have gone through trials and temptations and struggles it's only for a momentary time it's only a little while but this little while if you are able to stand strong and complete trust in the lord the lord says your genuineness of your faith will be revealed and then what will happen when the lord god jesus christ to be is revealed he will praise you and glorify you and honor you for your genuine faith god will appreciate you you will be exalted are you ready to come out of your comfort zones are you ready to come out of your shells god will take you to the ends of the earth maybe initially you start witnessing only among your friends and family members but when you are faithful in witnessing jesus christ among your family members then the lord will take you to the neighbors and to the whole city and the whole country even to the other countries that is why god said in jerusalem you start and then he did judea and then somebody at the ends of the earth and really happened and it will happen in your life too my dear brothers and my dear brothers and sisters we can see the power of the holy spirit in the lives of the disciples the disciples when they were with jesus they had a different character but after the pentecost they had a different nature let us see what kind of character that they had when they were with jesus for 3 years when they were with jesus for 3 years this character they had let's read gospel of mark chapter 9 verse 34 Ma- gospel of mark chapter 9 verse 34 but they were silent for on the way they had argued with one another who was the greatest the disciples that they had argument they wanted to be the greatest they want to put the others down and they want to be the first each one wants to be the first self centeredness and selfishness was they are one of the main characteristics of these disciples self centeredness and selfishness they want to be the first let's also read chapter 10 verse 41 gospel mark chapter 10 when the 10 heard these when the 10 the 10 disciples when they heard about these two disciples john and james when the 10 heard these they began to be angry with james and john the disciples used to get angry jealousy they were jealous of the other people other disciples they want to be the first and the others want to be they, they want to put the others down so all the selfishness and anger argument which was common among the disciples for 3 years even when they were with jesus christ you know this is something that we all need to do re- need to remember just because a retreat center just because you are part of a retreat center just because you are a part of a team member of the divine retreat center or any retreat center just because you are very actively involved in the parish maybe just because you are a catechist or a eucharistic minister in a parish doesn't mean everyone will be holy and perfect i have seen many people saying father how can certain people behave like this they are in a retreat center they are always listening to the preaching and how come they behave like this there are people who say this i used to tell them do you want to see perfect people then when you die in case if you are going to heaven you will see them otherwise you will never see any perfect people on this earth unless they are baptized in the holy spirit Praise the, Praise the Lord. Even when they are baptized in the Holy Spirit, there will be arguments and disagreements and everything, but still there will be unity. I told you yesterday, even in the disorder, there will be an order. If you want to see perfect harmony without any argument and dispute, then you will have to go to heaven. Be patient and go to heaven and you will see. but at the same time if you want to see perfect nature who holy nature good nature though there are arguments and dispute and other things but there is in unity and peace then we need to wait for the baptism in the holy spirit and in ordinary parish in ordinary retreats and ordinary the holy places you will find every kind of 
കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ആർഗ്യുമെൻസ് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ആൻഡ് സെൽഫിഷ്നെസ് സെൽഫ് സെൻറ്റർനെസ് ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ബിക്കോസ് ഗോഡ് ഈസ് യൂസിങ് ഓർഡിനറി ഇന്നസെൻറ്റ് മേ ബി ഈവൻ സിന്നേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ഹിസ് മിനിസ്ട്രി സോ ദീസ് എക്സാലി വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഹിയർ ദീസ് ഡിസൈപ്പിൾസ് three years they were with arguments jealousy selfishness self centeredness but after the pentecost experience let us read acts the apostle chapter 4 verse 32 acts the apostle chapter 4 verse 32 after the pentecost experience you can see a change in them now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and one soul no one claimed private ownership of any possessions but everything they owned was held in common the early christians including the apostles and disciples and all the other christians they were all with one heart and one mind unity but at the same time if you read the acts of the apostles in details you can see there are disputes there is argument and at the same time but there is unity they used to come together they used to discuss among themselves they come to the so- the certain conclusions and when they come to the conclusions they all agree with each other they all support each other because pentecost was active the holy spirit was active so we can divide a person's life into bp and ap bp means before pentecost and second ap means after pentecost even christians even today we can see people when they have an retreat a god experience in them they have a u turn in their life suddenly they become a new person i have seen so many people once upon a time they were fully into drugs and drinks and gambling and and all kinds of wrong relationship and then they come for retreat they attend retreat they got, have got an, have a god experience after the god experience there is a u turn in their life no more all these evil always connected to god and always thirsting for the presence of god always praying for it this is called pentecost experience they have got baptism in the holy spirit only a person who has who is baptized in the holy spirit can change their life otherwise it's not easy with your strength with your capacity you cannot get rid of the bad habits and addictions only by the grace of god everything is possible for god without this god you cannot help yourself therefore my dear brothers and sisters we all need this baptism the holy spirit if anyone out there thinking that you cannot come out of your bad habits and wrong relationships and addictions let me assure you if you come to jesus everything is possible for you why do i say this i have hundreds and hundreds and thousands of examples in front of me i have seen thousands of people who have come back to the lord and leading a holy life from all their bad habits and addictions because the lord touched them it's not a great it's not a difficult effort it is just a touch of god you just need to be open to it do not be preoccupied with such certain kind of blogs but just believe it will happen in your life just believe everything is possible for god and come to the lord you it will happen in your personal life you will be a miracle all these years you saw the miracle but now you will be a miracle brothers and sisters one cannot profess and uh, proclaim effectively without the holy spirit one cannot proclaim the word of god proclaim the faith effectively without the holy spirit many people want to profess their faith but they are afraid they are ashamed they are like the disciples who are hiding in the room that 11 disciples after the death of jesus they were hiding in the room because they were afraid they were ashamed they were really scared they worried if i profess my faith what will the others think of what will happen to me i may lose my job i may lose my family i may lose my future so all these worries disturbed them and they were hiding in a closed room and that is when the holy spirit came upon them once the holy spirit came upon them 
first of all all the worries disappeared fear disappeared tensions disappeared and even the consequence also disappeared of course after some time one of them were killed um, james was killed but the others they continued their ministry until what god wanted if god doesn't permit anyone no one can touch you if someone touches you that means god permitted it because that is his purpose it is his plan therefore my dear brothers and sisters don't worry about professing your faith the others can only threaten you or frighten you that's all unless god permits nothing will happen to you and your family just because you profess the faith and proclaim the name of jesus nothing is going to happen to you no one has authority to touch you praise the lord praise the lord you may have more problems if you don't proclaim the faith of jesus but if you prof- profess your faith that is the biggest protection for you your job your family your everything will be protected praise the lord praise the lord so today the lord is giving a very strong message that you need to profess your faith you have to share your faith you have to share the messages of christ jesus to others you have to tell others about jesus you have to and you have no choice we all have no choice but we have to without which there is no salvation there is no protection we have to do it we read like this acts of the apostle chapter 1 verse 8 acts of the apostle chapter 1 verse 8 but you will receive power everybody repeat after me but you will receive power but you will receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you when the holy spirit has come upon you when the holy spirit comes to you you will have power you will never be ashamed you will never be afraid you will never hide you are ready to go ready to profess you are not ashamed when the holy spirit comes if anybody is afraid and ashamed and you are scared and you are not telling anyone about jesus even to your best friend you are afraid to tell about jesus that means you have not received the baptism in the holy spirit we read like this you will receive power you will receive when power when the holy spirit has come upon you when the holy spirit has come upon you and you will be my witnesses and you will be my witnesses in jerusalem in jerusalem in all judea in all judea and samaria and samaria and to the ends of the earth and to the ends of the earth are you ready to come out of your comfort zones are you ready to come out of your shells god will take you to the ends of the earth God will take you to the wherever he wants to take you to the profess the faith he will take you if you are ready to come out of your shell if you are ready to come out of your comfort zone and then start speaking about Jesus today or tomorrow the lord will take you to the ends of the earth praise the lord praise the lord but you will receive power but you will receive, receive power when the holy spirit has come upon you when the holy spirit has come upon you and you will be my witness and you will be my witnesses in jerusalem in jerusalem in Ju- all judea in all judea on sabari and samaria and samaria and to the ends of the earth and to the ends of the earth maybe initially you start witnessing ab- only among your friends and family members but when you are faithful in witnessing jesus christ among your family members then the lord will take you to the neighbors and to the whole city and the whole country even to the other countries that is why god said in jerusalem you start and then he did judea and then samaria then the ends of the earth and really happened and it will happen in your life too my dear brothers my dear brothers and sisters the holy spirit is very active from the history in the all throughout the history especially in the bible let's read first peter chapter 1 verse 6 onwards First Peter chapter 1 verse 6 onwards repeat after me in this you rejoice in this you rejoice even if now even if now for a little while for a little while you have had to suffer various trials you have had to suffer various trials all those who are going through some kind of trials in your family relationship personal relationship 
in your personal body your sicknesses maybe financial bondage is lack of job lack of peace of life maybe you are going through a tough time in your personal life the lord is telling you even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials only for some time you may be suffering some various trials it's only for some time every night will have a morning every rain will have to stop and every wind will cease to exist so this will stop so don't worry for a little while you have had to suffer various trials and the next one verse 7 so that the genuineness of your faith being more precious than gold that though perishable is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when jesus christ is revealed what does it mean the lord says if you are going through a crisis trial temptation struggle financial problem marital problem physical problem maybe some uh, many many some kind of trials it is only for some time and the lord says in these moments of trials your genuineness of your faith will be revealed what does it mean genuineness of your faith some people their faith is not genuine how do we know the moment they have a sickness their whole faith is gone the moment they have some crisis in the family the question they ask what did god do to me i was so faithful to him and but now what did god give me god has taken all my job i am going through a tough time god did not do anything to me so these are the common comments of certain people when they have some testing period some people i have seen people losing faith in god the moment they came to know they have got some serious sickness like cancer or some other problem suddenly they say what the point i prayed so much and now this is what happened then i want to ask you where is your faith where is your faith the lord is asking you and me when you have gone through trials and temptations and struggles it's only for a momentary time it's only a little while but this little while if you are able to stand strong and complete trust in the lord the lord says your genuineness of your faith will be revealed and then what will happen when the lord god jesus christ to be revealed he will praise you and glorify you and honor you for your genuine faith god will appreciate you you will be exalted you no know, you are appreciated by god himself is not an ordinary thing i remember when we as priest appreciate certain people they are so excited they are so happy when you are when your college or university appreciate you you so excited when somebody when all your community members come together and celebrate your birthday and appreciate you maybe some achievements of your life they appreciate you and honor you you're so excited but more than all these things just imagine the god of this universe appreciates you when the god of this universe appreciates you how much more you will be excited and it is not just an appreciation it is a great honor in front of all the heavenly beings the lord says when you go through these trials and temptations and struggles god is watching you to see the genuinity of your faith this is how the gold is gold is tested in the fire when the gold is tested in the fire then the true gold will shine all the other fake golds will diminish their their shining will not be their jewel dim so the true gold will shine so if you are true in your faith you will shine you will shine after all this trial period the lord will bless you praise the lord praise the lord and then let's read continue verse 8 we read like this although all you the- have not seen him although you have not seen him you love him you love him my dear brothers and sisters many people 
you love jesus though you have not seen him many people love jesus though you have not experienced him many people who you love jesus though you have never seen any miracle in front of you but still you love him the lord is so happy with you because your faith is strong you don't need a miracle to believe in him even without a miracle you believe in him you love him the lord says i appreciate you that is why jesus said to saint thomas it's better that you believe without seeing him jesus said to him have you believed because you have seen me blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe john 20:29 20, jesus said to thomas have you believed because you have seen me but blessed are those who have not seen yet have come to believe many of you my dear brothers and sisters you have not seen god you have not seen miracles you have not seen any mighty intervention of god but still you love and follow jesus jesus is so happy with you jesus is appreciating you that is why bible says first peter chapter 1 verse 8 although you have not seen him you love him and even though you do not see him now you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable and glorious joy saint peter is appreciating those people and said though you don't see him you believe in him and rejoice with an indescribable glorious joy and he's appreciating them my brothers and sisters all those who believe in jesus without seeing him without experiencing him you're so blessed god is so happy with you don't change don't shake your faith verse 9 we read for you are receiving the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls you are believing without any seeing miracle or wonders or healings or anything you are still believing you are holding on to him and you are having your strong faith god says you are receiving the outcome of your faith what is the outcome of your faith your salvation of your soul your soul will be saved it's guaranteed your soul will be fa- uh, you are saved your soul will be saved salvation of your souls are assured Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. You are receiving the outcome of your faith. The salvation of your souls. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Let's read verse 10. We read like this. Concerning the salvation. The you know the salvation which you are going to receive because of your blind faith. The Lord says, even the prophets were thirsting for the salvation. even the prophets were prophesying about this concerning the salvation the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry they wanted to experience it all the prophets in the old testament they were speaking about your salvation this grace which you are going to receive and they were searching and inquiring about it Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Daniel, Obadiah, Joel, all these all these prophets verse 11 inquiring about the person or time that the spirit of Christ within them indicated when it testified in advance to the sufferings destined for Christ and the subsequent glory you know these prophets in the old testament they knew what who is this jesus christ they knew the passion and death and resurrection of jesus christ they knew all those who are going to accept jesus christ will be saved they knew it and they prophesied it in the old testament praise the lord sufferings the lord. destined for christ that is passion and death and the subsequent glory that is resurrection about these the prophets knew this they prophesied about it saint peter says and was 12 it was revealed to them repeat after me it was revealed to them it was revealed to them see all this passion death and resurrection of jesus was revealed to them that they were serving that they were serving not themselves not, not themselves but you but you you know when i read this passage when i read the old testament 
then i read the isaiah jeremiah daniel ezekiel when i was reading the first kings and first samuel and second samuel second kings when i was reading genesis exodus and leviticus joshua all these books in fact all these books are written for me all these prophets were prophesying for me they were all serving me therefore even though i have not seen jesus he have even though i have not experienced miracles or wonders the lord is helping me helping you every one of you through this word of god it was revealed to them that they were serving not themselves but you you and me in regard to the things that have now been announced to you through those who brought you good news by the holy spirit sent from heaven things into which angels long to look this good news even angels are long to look this evangelization even the angels are thirsting to do that is why the first evangelized evangelists are angels when jesus was born angels came and declared it when jesus was resurrected angels came and declared it most important events of jesus angels were the first one to declare it they are longing to do it but now it is given to you and me and we are not interested in doing it we are not interested in proclaiming the good news even the angels are longing to do it but we are not that is why we sufferings and struggles are not leaving us that is why, that is why the problems are not leaving us you will settle all your problems if you are ready to do this ministry of evangelization start sharing about jesus start speaking about jesus your problems one by one will be defeated by the by the lord praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus during these live streamings you have you might have seen we the priest are announcing the healings and we announce the healing so the lord is healing so so and so people the lord is healing so and so uh, families and blessings and the lord and as if the lord is speaking to us and we are speaking to you praise the lord and these are fulfillment of what god has asked us to do we are not doing anything that our own but what we are asked to do what the lord is inspiring me i'm preaching and i'm sure also sharing with you praise the lord even the healings and messages that is announced here these are the messages which the lord is giving us as a strong messages inside of us we are announcing it for you and it will surely happen you just need to claim it it is not my own words these are the words of our lord we also read in the bible first peter chapter 4 verse 10 we read like this first peter chapter 4 verse 10 like good towards repeat after me like good towards like good towards of the manifold grace of god of, of the, the manifold, manifold grace of god serve one another serve one another with, wa- with whatever gift whatever gift each of you has received each of you has received praise the lord praise the lord like good towards of the manifold graces of god serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received the lord has given the gift and i have to serve i have to use it and verse 11 verse 11 whoever speaks whoever speaks must do so must do so as one speaking the very words of god as one speaking the very words of god that means when i preach the word of god i should not preach as if father joseph is preaching i should preach as if god himself is preaching when jesus spoke when the apostles spoke when the disciples spoke when the prophets spoke they all spoke as if god himself is speaking through them this is exactly the duty as a priest god has given to me this is what the first pope is telling his disciples peter whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of god and whoever serves whoever serves whoever serves must do so must do so with the strength that god supplies 
supplies with the strength that god supplies with the help with the strength of god so that so that god may be glorified god may be glorified in all things in all things through jesus christ through jesus christ to him to him belong the glory belong the glory and the power and the power forever and ever forever and ever amen amen praise the lord praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters that is why that is the duty of every priest and that is the duty of me and everyone that is the duty of me and you every one to stand in the place of jesus and and speak the word of god as if god himself is speaking to you and we have to serve god and everything what we do all the glory should go to god praise the lord praise the lord god may be glorified therefore we should not please you we should only please god and say whatever that god is speaking to us we are supposed to announce it praise the lord praise the lord whether you like it or not whether anybody likes it or not it is our duty to tell them what is right and wrong praise the lord praise the lord let's read matthew chapter 10 verse 19 matthew chapter 10 verse 19 when they hand you over when they hand you over do not worry about how you are to speak do not worry about how you are to or speak or what you are to say or what you are to say for 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 what you have to say will be given to you will be given to you at that time at that time whatever you need to speak god will give you at that time i have seen it in my life during the preaching during the adoration whatever that i have to say god has given me at that moment put put it in my mouth in my tongue after saying it i have seen i myself get surprised to see this the lord does it when we are ready to do it verse 20 we read like this for it is not you who speak for it is not you who speak but the spirit of your father speaking through you but the spirit of your father it speaking through you it is not you who speak it is not you who speak but the spirit of your father speaking through you but the spirit of your father speaking through you praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you father thank you father praise you father praise you father praise the lord praise the lord let's read first corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 to 5 First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 My speech and my proclamation were not with plausible words of wisdom Repeat after me My ple- speech and my proclamation were my speech and my proclamation were not with plausible words of wisdom not with plausible words of wisdom but with the demonstration of the spirit and of power but with a demonstration of the spirit and of power so that so that your faith might rest your faith might rest not on human wisdom not on human wisdom but on the power of god but on the power of god praise the lord praise the lord you know you can see two types of preachings one is preachings of the worldly knowledge a lot of knowledge you will get but the other one is preaching of the spirit and power you will get conversion and repentance there are two types of preachings in this world one is you will get a lot of worldly knowledge word of, lot of knowledge about the many things and um, knowledge and in- informations you will get it but the other one you will get the power of the spirit you will get the repentance and conversion the saint paul says his preachings are most of mostly it is so boring but there is spirit and power there is conversion and repentance and why does it happen that happens because the lord says don't depend on human wisdom too much but we depend on the power of god many people they want questions and answers the lord says stop questioning just start believing depend on the power of god believe and you will see the miracles if you start asking questions after after questions for knowledge you may get knowledge but there won't be any power it is not the knowledge that we need it is the power of the holy spirit we need praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord let's read luke 21 verse 12 onwards luke 21 verse 12 
but before all this occurs but before all this occurs they will arrest you they will arrest you and persecute you and persecute you they will hand you they will hand you over to synagogues over to synagogues and prisons and prisons and you will be brought before kings and you will be brought before and kings and governors and governors because of my name because of my name the lord says because of my name you will be persecuted you will be insulted humiliated you will be dragged into the prisons and you will be handed over to synagogues and prisons and you will be brought before kings and governors before because of my name and he says verse 13 very like this this will give you an opportunity to testify praise the lord praise the lord you know why many crises and problems happen in the church because it will give you an opportunity to testify praise the lord praise the lord why persecutions when you are persecuted when it becomes a news when it become a public in information and everybody comes to know and then whatever you speak will be a public report and then you get an opportunity to testify god praise the lord praise the lord remember every occasion is an occasion to testify god every occasion of problem every occasion of a crisis every occasion of a persecution is a moment for testifying you know in uh, in uh, middle east many christians were killed during the isis terrorist attack and many christians they had options either to deny their faith and accept the faith of those terrorist or just die ready to be killed and many christians boldly stood with jesus christ they professed their faith silently by allowing their enemies or terrorists to kill them in fact this persecution was an opportunity to testify their faith there are millions of testimonies like this praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus was 14 we read like this 14 so make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance so make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance you don't need to prepare yourself to defend yourself god holy spirit will tell you what you need to say verse 15 we read like this for i will give you for i will give you words and wisdom words and wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand that none of your opponents will be able or to withstand contradict. Oh. or contradict praise the lord praise the lord i will give you i will give you words of wisdom and Wor- knowledge words of wisdom and knowledge that none of your opponents that none of your will opponents will be able to withstand will be able to withstand or contradict or contradict praise the lord praise the lord you will be able to speak boldly you will speak the right thing the right last moment praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters this is the power of the holy spirit 